So Teresha, we know that when a job seeker sends a resume, the recruiter will read, okay, they like it. Okay, they got on LinkedIn automatically and they want to see kind of a personality or who is this person and read their bio and they will check their activities. And a lot of times people are like having hard time creating content because we always tell them content is a king. Talk about your personal bag. Talk about your values that we talked about in the first video. But still, people come and say, okay, what am I going to talk about? So in your experience, how can they start creating content? Yeah, that goes back to the clarity piece. Mm. Why are you creating the content? What is your end goal in creating the content? Is it to land a job? Is it to educate and inform? Is it to entertain with education being the secondary, you know, just kind of thinking through all of those is going to be your step one to help you decide, okay, this is what I want to include or talk mm -hmm. about. Um, also being able to, you know, kind of decide what your intent is, yes. is going to help you with topics, right? So if I know that, I'll just use myself as an example, I am looking to help and support job seekers. So my content or the topics that I talk about are going to be all centered around mm. careers, jobs, things that support that. Um, if I am creating content, you know, talking about what kind of dogs that I like, and I'm supposed to be talking about content, I'm going to lose my audience, or I'm going to end up with this following around dogs yeah. and they're going to yeah. be very confused, confused. So, yeah. 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 so being you know clear and intentional about the whys mm -hmm. of creating content is going to be important um the other things that i would say around creating content is to just be yourself yeah. you know if you especially if you're doing this to you know find a job or to make some kind of connections yeah. who you are in your content you're going to show up to the job yeah. and they're going to be like, well, where is the person that we know and love from all of your content? So just, you know, be yourself, show your personality, show yeah. the things that you know, what is important to you and the right types of, you know, viewers yeah. are going to come to you. Um, give yourself grace and patience, you know, creating content has changed so much in yeah. the last, I would say five to six years don't feel like you need to have all of the, you know, equipment and lights and editing yeah. software and all of those things. Start, put one foot in front of the other, get it going, and then learn as you grow. Um, yeah. That's that's going to be, be helpful. You can always refine and change, but mm -hmm. you don't have anything to refine and change if you yeah. never started in the first yeah. place. So uh, showcasing what you bring to the table and being intentional is definitely Yeah. I tell, my, I tell my clients and students, let's say if you are in computer engineering or you're trying to find a job in a software developer, mm -hmm. Google software developer, it will give you tips like software developer tips in 2023 or software developer strategies in 2020. Read that article, summarize. This is my summary. One, two, three, put the article, tag few people, hashtag few people and post. And then as you as we talk about having those strategies, maybe more uh, Mondays you're creating content. On Tuesday, you're commenting on other people's content. And then that will also build those relationships. Yeah, that engaged conversation. Yeah, so those are great tips. Again, thank you very much. And again, for the audience, tune in next time for my final question with Trisha. Mm -hmm.